On this channel guys, we have done many videos looking at fake knockoff UGC items and always the most popular type of knockoff has got to be the UGC Dominus hats. But let's be honest though, even though they're very cool and sometimes funny, they never really last that long at all. Once the Twitter community starts talking about them and YouTubers start making videos about them, they get banned and content deleted super fast. So that brings us on to today's video. It's going to be an updated DIY Dominus tutorial. So we are going to be building a custom Dominus but it's not really like the last ones where we try to recreate an already existing Dominus. Using this very simple trick that I'm about to show you, you will be able to make tons of custom unique Dominuses. These aren't like copies or anything, but they still look very awesome. And yeah, let's get into it. So I actually got the idea behind this video when I saw this tweet on Twitter. This is from Lonnie and he said, Cat Dominus Vibes. And I can see what he means. I can see what he's done here as well. He's combined a UGC hood with a Dominus buttons or circles t-shirt. And I'm not gonna lie, that does kind of resemble a Dominus. I did notice a few people in the comments were saying it's not really a Dominus, which is true. It's more of like a custom one. So let's go and try this, right? Let's get this thing started. What we need to do is type in Dominus over on the avatar shop. Now you guys don't exactly need to do this because you could buy a t-shirt. I'm gonna create my own buttons because then it's free. And if you guys wanna do it for free, I want to show you how to do it. So choose any Dominus you want. I think I'm gonna go for this one because those buttons have got like a green color glow on there. It looks kind of cool, right? So the Dominus Vespertilio, something like that. I don't know. So what you basically want to do guys is either take a screenshot or use the snipping tool to capture this image of the Dominus buttons. Now I've got the better Roblox plugins, so I think I'm going to use this because then I can position it well on my avatar. There is actually a trick on Windows. If you do Windows key shift and S all at the same time, it comes up with this like screen capture tool option. And I'm just going to take a screenshot of that. So there you go. So inside of my picture editing software, I use paint.net. It's completely free. I'll link it down below if you want it. And yes, what I'm basically going to do, guys, is just crop out these buttons. So I'm going to use the magic wand tool. I'm just going to select it here, maybe just to there. And I'm basically just going to go around like this. I know there's probably better ways of doing it, but for me, this is perfect. I can always use the rubber option to make the edges a bit smoother. And yeah, I'm basically going to crop out these buttons. So I'll just do that very quickly. So like I was saying, you can use the rubber tool if you want to. Maybe using this is a good idea because sometimes they might not be that circle because obviously a bit of them is like clipping into the Dominus hat or like the avatar's torso right so you can kind of circle them off and make them a bit rounder that would probably look better when you turn it into a t-shirt anyway so here we are I've cropped them out now I'm just going to select them and yeah you can paste them onto a Roblox template what I use is just the basic Roblox shirt template because it makes it a lot easier and you can just scale them down and get them to roughly where you want and that is basically how you turn this into a Roblox t-shirt it's very very simple so here we are guys I've got mine looking like this I could always edit it and change the colors. I could do purple. That's kind of cool. Yeah, I like that. I think, let me see. Maybe I'm going to keep it on green. Yeah, I think I'll keep it on green this time. But if you want to change it, you can. That does look very cool. Let me keep it like this. And yeah, I'm just going to copy this, paste it in a new document. And then I can upload it to Roblox as a t-shirt. Keep in mind, t-shirts are free. I don't think shirt uploading is free anymore. So here we are. That is perfect. We are going to do control S for save. Then it's going to pop up asking us where we want to save it. And we can give it a name as well. Well, I'm just going to call mine Green Circle because then it probably won't get banned. I don't know why Roblox always ban these. It's so annoying. But yeah, let's just go and save it. And so there we go, guys. That's literally it. That's all you have to do to make them. Very simple. So then obviously go to Create, then go down to T-shirts, then simply just go and upload it. So go and choose File, go and find your file and select it, then click on Open, then upload it. And that's all you have to do. This is 100% free. It won't cost you any Robux. Now, if you guys are struggling with creating your own, you can can go to classic t-shirts and type in Dominus buttons. There's actually loads on here that Roblox never bans, so I'm a little confused by that. Are they still banning them or are they letting people make them now? I really don't know. There was a whole phase back in 2020, I think, where if you uploaded some Dominus buttons, they would just delete them off your account and it was very annoying. But now I guess people are allowed to make them, so a lot of these custom ones are pretty good, actually. I'm not gonna lie, though. I do think I prefer the ones that I made. Over on my avatar editor, I've got all of this stuff, so here is some I made earlier. Here is some hoods as well. I also purchased this, the Void Mask. You can either buy this for 50 Robux or you could make your avatar's head pitch black. But just keep in mind, I think this one's a bit darker so it does look a bit better. It also sticks out a bit so it's kind of nice. It does remove any kind of reflection as well so it's like a pure shadow mask. So let's go and wear this. Let's go and wear a hood. Maybe we can try this one. Dark hood of the Oculus. Let's wear some circles as well. And that is literally all you need guys to create a new DIY Dominus. And look at that. 
that. You can't tell me that doesn't look cool. And here we are. This is what these custom dominances look like inside of games. So they're so simple and you can pretty much choose any UGC hood you wanted to. I mean, this hood, it didn't even look like a dominus, but just by adding this t-shirt, it really makes it look like one. And obviously you can customize these characters as much as you want. You can add wings, swords, horns on their heads, literally anything you want to. And yeah, I actually think this is very, very cool. Let's try and create some more. I really do want to try that cat dominus for myself. So we need the cat hood, which is a UGC. Wear a shirt and pants of your choice. We're going to wear the void mask. And I'm also going to wear some random circles. And yeah, I've got to admit, just like the other one, this one is also really, really cool. I don't know why. It has like a really sort of old Roblox accessory vibe to it. It really reminds me of like an old item from like, I don't know, 2011 or something like that. It's awesome though. I really rate this one. I like that a lot. As I was editing this video, guys, the people which made the cat Dominus actually uploaded a new one. And I want to show it to you guys quickly because it's kind of like more Dominus like. Well, it's like the Dominus colors anyway. This one is the chili cat hood. And of course, yes, we are going to try it. This one's 300 Robux. So a little bit too pricey, but let's just wear it. Let's just check it out anyway. And this is what it looks like. Now, I'm not going to lie. In a way, I really prefer the tabby cat version. This white cat version's okay, but I don't know. Maybe I didn't set up my avatar correctly. Just something about it doesn't look as good as the previous one. That's my own personal opinion. But yeah, if you guys want a really cool cat Dominus, either this one or the one I just showed you a few seconds ago, then yeah, you can make these for sure. They're kind of cool. I found this really funny hood. Look at this. It's Pepe the Frog. There is no way this is on Roblox. That's hilarious. I want to try and use this guy to create a custom Dominus. We've got to check this out in a game. <laughs> oh god. Okay, this ended up looking more weird than I expected. I think if the hood was a bit lower, that might look really good. But maybe the gap between the circles and the hood's a bit too big on this one. Still though, I do like it. It definitely looks interesting. This is probably one of the weirdest avatars I've ever created. I quickly made another one anyway. Hmm, what should I call this? The Dark Bunny Dominus. Yeah, I think that sounds cool. This one actually worked a lot better than I expected. It looks really nice. Yeah, I read that one a lot. Not too bad. I quickly invented this one as well. This guy is going to be called the jack o lantern Dominus. Actually, let me change the lighting so you guys can see it a bit better. There we go. That's more like it. Maybe I should have used a bigger Roblox head on this one, but I do kind of like it in a way. I literally came up with this in like five seconds, but this is called the guinea pig Dominus. <laughs> guinea pigs are cool animals. You've got to admit that. And here's an interesting one, the bear Dominus. And I added a giant axe bag accessory because why not? I thought it made it look a bit crazy. And there we have it. These are my custom Roblox Dominus hats. If you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to leave a like and subscribe. I'll try and link everything down below in the video's description. But yeah, this video was basically to let you guys know you can really be as creative as possible when making these custom Dominus lookalikes. Cheers for watching, guys. I'll see you in the next one.